Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that really annoys me in photography industry, so let's get started. You may think, or you may be encouraged to think that to be a good photographer, you need to spend a lot of money. For example, booking expensive venues or Airbnbs, spending loads of money traveling to faraway places, booking expensive models, etc, etc. But that does not make you a good photographer. Just to have all that, it just means you have a lot of money to spend. What makes you a better photographer is working on your skill, working on your vision and your imagination. Imagine if you're placed in an empty room, literally nothing there, no props, no lights, no models, nobody, and you're told to create a nice set of images. Could you do it? So what I'm getting at, to start off with, you should start with something simple because the simple stuff is actually not that simple at all, if, if that makes sense. The next point is, we should use the environment we're in. Now this is not to say that we should not travel because I travel myself a lot. This just means do not overlook what you already have because you might think the grass is greener somewhere else and generally it isn't. And the reason why we start to overlook our own environment is because we become so used to it, we become so blind to the photographic opportunities that are actually around us already. It's easy to forget that to become better photographers we should really ch challenge ourselves, not put money and time into traveling to places that you know have been photographed by hundreds and hundreds of people already. What's the point? Using your house alone can produce a nice set of images. Uh, for example, still life images. I'm sure you have a table somewhere in a house, I'm sure your window, so all you need is a camera and just a bit of imagination to get you started. Or what about self-portraits? I've done a million of those. What about documentary? What about documentary project about your house? About the things in your house? About people who live there? or maybe even your pet. Um, and what about experimenting with light and abstract photography? Like, you have this amazing studio right in front of you. You know where the light falls. You know exactly what the colors look like in your house. So why travel somewhere and use your hard-earned money and time? Um, when you can just challenge yourself, you can truly challenge yourself and get over this creativity block and use every single corner of your house and just create something from absolutely nothing. This is even more important for when you're starting out in photography. Start with simple things and build on them. Imagine if you can work on your creativity in such a limited environment, what are the possibilities for when you do travel around? And not just that, at the same time, you'll also start building on your technical knowledge of your equipment. You'll only learn what you need to know at that exact time. There is no point you learning all these different possibilities that your camera or your software can do if you never get to use them. Use what you have and learn what you need to know at that exact time. If you start thinking too technical, your image is going to become technical. There's not going to be vision, no story, no emotion. So think creativity, think emotions, think a story, and then how can I achieve this? What do I need to know to create this photograph? 
So that brings me to the next point. Use your equipment and use the heck out of it. So whatever camera you have, whatever lens you have, there's always gonna be new ones coming out in the market, like every month, I guarantee that. I know it's very tempting and there's always new sales coming out, but please do not get fooled by this. You do not need to keep upgrading your equipment, um, especially for personal photography. I'm not talking about commercial though, because that's a completely different thing, but if you're talking about starting out or personal photography, all you need is a camera that works, a camera that focuses and can take pictures and that's it. And at the end of the day, these companies keep releasing new stuff because they need to sell more. It's just a simple marketing trick and that's all it is. So if your camera is working just fine, why would you drop, um, say, £2,000 or dollars or whatever just to buy a new piece of equipment that has function, new functions that you'll never even use anyway? So, just focus on what you already have and just use it as much as you can. Learn the limitations of your camera and your lens. Do you know what an image is going to look like even before you pick up your camera? Or do you feel like your camera and your lens is, does it become an extension of you, your eyes and your vision? Or do you just keep making excuses and spending more and more money on stuff you don't actually need, thinking, yes, this is going to make me a lot better, this is going to make me a great photographer. Also, the really big names in art photography, they don't talk about cameras. End of the day, camera is a tool. You have a vision and you need a tool to execute this vision. That's all it is. So don't worry too much about the gear. As long as you have something that takes pictures, even if it's a camera phone, at least it gets you started, it'll get you thinking, it'll get you shooting and that's the main thing. Also, maybe save that money on something else and maybe buy yourself a really good chair for when you're editing hours and hours and you just need that really good back support and trust me, that's a much better way to spend that money. So my next point is innovate and experiment. Don't fall for like the latest photography fads either. For example, oh, you need to buy this Lightroom preset and your photography is gonna be amazing. Yeah, I've been there, I've spent loads, I've done it and it doesn't always work. So don't rely on these uh, additional add-ons or you know, this piece of equipment or whatever. Just focus on training your vision, experimenting and putting yourself in these really limited situations. Restricting yourself it's gonna help you find ways out of it. It's gonna help you find ways how to innovate, how to do something completely different. And it'll save you a lot of money as well. And don't let other people make you think that what they're doing is what you should be doing or what they're using is what you need to be using or whatever they're going and shooting, that that's what you should be as well. So just be your own kind of photographer. Be unique and really push yourself and it'll be so much more rewarding, trust me. And also novelty of having new stuff, it'll wear off eventually. So you'll be looking for that next new fix, next new thing to spend money on. So don't let, let yourself be sucked into this like a vicious cycle because it'll keep happening and happening until you actually stop it yourself. Just focus on being different, focus on being yourself and focus on what you really like in photography. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you all have a nice day. Now, go out and make some art. I'm hiring expensive models, traveling far away to exotic places <laughs> and also the novelty of having new stuff. Oh sorry that was my cat. <laughs>